go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine so, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell by the title, we are filming. I feel like this one's a little bit more exciting than normal because, well, for two reasons actually. One, because we haven't actually been able to go to park because we've been in lockdown. And two, because I'm holding a massive giveaway. So, as you probably would have guessed from the title and what I've just said, this is a Primark haul. So I'm just going to quickly talk over the giveaway rules and see how you guys can be in the chance to win a £100 Primark voucher. How exciting is that? So to be in the chance of winning this £100 voucher, you need to make sure you're subscribed to this channel, you've given this video a thumbs up, and then just go over to my Instagram, find this post here, I'll insert a picture here for you guys to see it, go to the caption, and it will also tell you what to do over there. So it'd just be like the photo, follow me, and then comment on the photo as well. Just so it's easy for me to select a winner through the comments, and then you can also have a bonus entry by sharing on your story. So the main ones are just make sure you're subscribed to my channel, following me on Insta, and then yeah, just head to that post. So without further ado, I think we should just get into the haul. I actually went to a different Primark this time, and I'm not gonna lie, I was not feeling it. It just, I don't know if it's because obviously we've been in lockdown, so it hasn't been open, so the stock isn't great, it's still old stock. But there just wasn't things that were like popping out to me but i have got quite a big haul i have two of these bags that were very heavy however one of them broke so we've got one primark and one aldi so this is such a random primark haul i've literally got loungewear i've got stocking fillers i've got men's stuff i've got a little bit of kids stuff like there's just no rhyme or reason for this haul but i really wanted to get it up for you guys and hold the giveaway and there is some amazing loungewear pieces in here because i went a little bit ham on the loungewear because that section i was impressed with so let's just get into the video like i said if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and then head over to my instagram and follow me on there and make sure you enter the giveaway so one thing i will say is there's literally gonna be like i said there's no there's no rhyme or reason to this haul but this is just packaged how it's been packaged do you know what the first thing i'm gonna start with is fluffy socks i've got them on now because how could i not i always pick up a new pair of soft cozy fluffy socks because they are literally my favorite thing about Primark I know that's really sad but I just love being comfortable so speaking of I'm gonna go with these first just because I've actually worn these already when I came home from Primark I had a shower I tanned I'd done all my skincare and I just wanted to put on some brand new pajamas so I couldn't wait but these are literally unreal so you may see me I actually posted these on my Instagram story yesterday well a picture of me in them I had so many DMs of where they're from um, so here they are, they're from Primark. They're literally the softest thing ever. They're kind of like that brushed material, so it feels like slightly fluffy. These came in a set together in like, they had so many, like the pyjama section was popping. So if that's what you're into, then I'd highly recommend checking out Primark like ASAP. Um, you will see I've picked up quite a lot of stuff in this haul. But yeah, they're just a set of pyjamas straight leg really soft really cozy my skin in pregnancy obviously i'm pregnant if you don't follow my channel is really sensitive so i need fabrics that i'm going to feel comfortable in and that are going to feel soft on my skin and this literally i just want to put my face on it <laughs> but they're just the comfiest things ever and they're just these would be such a nice gift as well i feel like i've got quite a good range of stocking fillers gift ideas are in here as well if you are if you are looking for that kind of stuff because this was kind of like our christmas shop getting last bits that we needed i can't believe christmas is next week what the hell i'm so excited speaking of christmas like i said no rhythm to this haul i picked up some sellotape so they had a huge section for like gift ideas little trinkets and things like that knickknack kind of vibes you know those kind of presents secret santa vibes but they also had loads of like wrapping paper gift wrap um gift bags and these are just really really handy because they're the ones that have the cutter on the end honestly trying to wrap and do everything one handed is really hard so yeah these were 90p which i thought was really really good so i had to pick up some of them because they are just an essential so in the pack of fluffy socks you've got two pairs so this is the other pair i think these were literally like two pounds which you can't go wrong i love just getting up in the morning having something to chuck on putting on some cozy socks and just being comfortable i literally live for that so another thing i feel like is essential in primark is picking up some beanies I always seem to find hats, gloves, scarves and stuff in Primark really, really handy because they're so affordable 
Um, I did obviously pick up all of them, but for now, for now, I've just got to show you these two, which were actually in the men's section, but they fit me fine. So I just picked up this nude beanie, and then I picked up this like grey bluey one, and I literally love them. They were two pound fifty each, which is so affordable. Do you know what I mean? Like, you just can't go wrong. Again, great stocking fillers because I feel like hats, scarves, gloves, things like that are things you don't tend to remember to pick up yourself, especially gloves, but will always come in handy. Handy. Gloves. <laughs> no pun intended. Another one on the stocking filler side of things. Obviously, these aren't, this video isn't for stocking fillers, but as it's coming up to that time of year, it's a good time to be thinking about things like that. So I've been looking for one of these brushes for so long. I have been looking in Superdrug and they're always out of stock and this was the last one on the shelf. So I picked this up. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. But it's just one of those brushes. I always have my hair. To be fair, I haven't had it up since I've had it dyed. We went a little bit darker and a little bit of a face frame and I literally love it. And I've gone shorter and I'm obsessed. Literally, if anybody's like, do I go shorter? Do I not? highly recommend but anyway when I have my hair up I always slick it back and these are like the most perfect brushes to do so so yeah I'm really happy with this it was 90p so good okay you guys are probably gonna laugh at me for this because <laughs> this is such a random one and these are already open because I've got a pair on right now I picked myself up some men's boxes because I wear Connor's boxes all the time and he gets so annoyed but they are literally if you haven't tried it yet I don't know what you're doing Boxes are like literally the most comfiest things to wear, especially um, since being pregnant, all I want is comfort and these are just the most comfortable things. I got the loose fit so they're super baggy, got them in a size medium and I've got my own now so Connor can't complain, he'll probably be stealing the, these off me at this point. <laughs> if I'm wearing oversized jumpers and stuff like this then they're just great to chuck on underneath as like a short. Um, but yeah, they're just so comfortable and I highly recommend and they were only £4.50 for a set of three, which is really good. So yeah, also good for your boyfriends. I did pick up Connor some boxes as well to go in his stocking. So one of my favourite things in Primark are these wireless bras. These I find are such an essential during pregnancy. Also I found these to be really, really handy after I had Noah. When I was breastfeeding, even though they don't have like the clippable straps, it was just super easy to pull them down and they're just so comfortable. I always take the padding out though and you can get different colours but I just went with the standard black, white and grey. £10 for a pack of three so you can't really be going wrong and yeah they're literally just the most comfortable thing. Also I wear these a lot just around the house with joggers. Just super easy, they're so versatile and just such a staple to have in your drawers. Not necessarily your wardrobe because I wouldn't be hanging up my wireless bras in my wardrobe. <laughs> So as I said, I've picked up quite a lot of loungewear. I probably should have done it like all together, but uh, this was just packed how it was packed. So um, these are a pair of joggers. And again, it's that like brushed material that is so soft. I literally just am obsessed. It's kind of like in this marble print. I don't know if you can see. Sorry also if you can see my nails, they are literally disgusting. I need to get them done. <laughs> I've just painted them myself, which is never a good idea. But yeah, these are just the softest fabric. They were, I think these are part of the sustainable range, which I've never seen in Primark before. Yeah, sustainable. Quite a lot of the stuff that I picked up actually had this label. These are literally the softest things ever. And I feel like they're just gonna be so nice just to chuck on around the house. But I have picked up quite a lot of lounge right there. It's just like that step further than pajamas. So it kind of looks like you've got your stuff together, you know? but you're just in your pajamas. Feels like you're in your pajamas, but you're in loungewear, so it looks a little bit better. That's my favorite thing about lounge. So you'll see in a bit that I did pick up another pair of trousers and a matching top. I don't know if there was a matching top to this one. I don't think I saw one, but there might have been. Um, but the whole section was just such a vibe, like all the neutrals and creams and whites. It's just a bit of me. So yeah, I was in my element with that. So there was quite a lot of things in Primark that I liked, but being pregnant, I have to think practically, like, am I going to be able to wear that over my bump? The answer, most of the time, is no. But I saw this top, and I love these kind of tops, even for, like, filming, where I do want to look a little bit more presentable, but they're still just, like, a basic. So this is just a black... I don't know if you're going to be able to see the neckline. It's kind of like a sweetheart neckline, and it's, like, this really thick, ribbed fabric. It's really nice. It's really comfortable. It's stretchy. I got it in a size medium, just so it will fit over my bump, and it's just, like, a... A nicer basic you know I just think it's really really nice and it was only 10 pounds and I just think they're good to have these are even good for like work and stuff if you work in an office I think maybe 
or even for like um, sick form to wear like with smart trousers because you could even dress these up. This would look nice with leather trousers which I picked up as well <sighs> in hope I've finally found some trousers, leather trousers that fit me right now. So my issue with leather trousers at the moment is they're actually all too big which is really weird I don't know why but I keep going really wrong with my leather trousers and I think it's because I'm not going for the ones that have the buttons and the zip because that is just not comfortable right now so when I saw these I thought they'll be per like perfect they're like the more flexible leather pleather trouser they're suede on the inside and they've just got this like slidey detail um they have got a zip but they just feel not as structured a little bit looser and just easier to move around in which is obviously great because you just need to be comfortable in pregnancy these were only 13 pounds and i picked them up in a size 10 i am i am yet to try them on um but i liked the little crease like the fold down the middle i just think leather trousers are such a go-to and even when i'm not pregnant they are literally my, well, mainly when I'm not pregnant, they are my go-to this time of year. So I'm just hoping they fit. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay, so next up I picked up some more basics because these are the, like my favourite kind of things to wear when I'm pregnant. So these are just the basic long sleeve stretchy tops and I just find they're so easy to pair with so many things. They're really good for layering, you can wear them underneath shirts, you can wear them underneath coats, you can wear them underneath jumpers as like an extra layer. And they're £3.50 each, so I picked up a black one. I picked up this like grey, creamy sort of one, and then I just picked up a white one. I know these are pretty standard, but they are literally essentials this time of year. So easy, just to chuck on, and yeah, I don't know. I, there's just something about them. They look, they look good, and they look put together. So that's what I'm all about. More loungewear. So this was actually in the calm section. Again, that was like the whole like neutrals kind of vibes, but I feel like this calm section is like spa inspired and it's literally amazing like it just looked so so nice so i'm pretty sure they had like fragrances and candles and stuff like that were that were inspired by this whole calm section they had just like the nicest like waffle dressing gowns and things like that honestly they're up their loungewear so i'd highly recommend checking it out like i said if that's your vibe but i thought this one could be quite a cute christmas morning one because it's a little bit more festive and yeah, I just liked it. Like I said, I like things that I can just chuck on in the morning, be good to go downstairs, have socks on, chill for the rest of the day, get my work done and just, yeah, I don't know. It's just what I look for and I'm glad I've got lots of options at the moment. And this was only £10 and I'm pretty sure they had another colourway of this, but like I said, I was thinking this for maybe Christmas morning. I just think it's a little bit more festive, isn't it? So the final thing in this bag is just another basic. I know this is quite a little like boring haul, but bear in mind that <laughs> I don't have a Primark like locally, so we have to get a boat to go to Primark. So I have to carry the stuff around all day. So getting coats and stuff just isn't practical. I will at some point, maybe January, February sort of time, we are planning on doing a little trip anyway in the car. Um, so maybe I'll do like a big new year, Primark haul and we can see what else is new and I won't have to carry it everywhere because I have the car but anyways I just picked up this again long sleeved basic top this was only five pounds it's a bodysuit which I don't tend to reach for as much when I'm pregnant but I liked the colour of this I just thought it was a little bit different good to pair with like the leather trousers and it just looks a little bit more put together you know just because it's a little bit of colour it's not like the most out there colour but it's just something a bit more so moving on to the next bag again just picking out whatever's in here at whatever order so when i go to primark i always find myself picking up socks because whether it's my socks connor's socks noah's socks they just seem to disappear and i never have a pair and there's nothing better than a fresh pair of white socks as well so seven pairs for £2.50 you just can't go wrong again good stocking filler <laughs> speaking of stocking fillers actually these I picked up for Connor, <laughs> but as I said, I also went to Primark to pick up some like hats, gloves and scarf. This I saw and I was like, that is a bit of me. This is literally my colour palette. I just dress really neutral and I love the colour of this scarf. It kind of reminds me of Butterscotch Angel Delight. <laughs> How random is that? But it was only £4 and again, I think this is part of their like, yeah, I'm made using recycled materials. It's £4, so really good and it's really soft and they're really chunky like there's nothing i hate more than a thin scarf 
I just like my scarves to be big and are actually going to keep me warm. So, another little present for Connor. These are actually going to go in his stocking. I don't know how I'm going to have to take them out, I think. But, obviously, I picked up loads of loungewear for myself and I'm always in pyjamas. So, I actually recently got Connor some and he literally loves them. So, I saw this two-pack and I thought that was a really good price. It was £13 for two. And I always find in two packs, one of them's nice but the other one's not very nice. But this one, I like them both. So, I'm going to put these in his stocking as well. I'll probably just take them out of the packaging. This is also a good present for, like, your dad, your granddad. Like, they're just really, really good. Trust me, they will get their use. So, here's the gloves, the infamous gloves that I picked up. I actually love the colour of these. I really just picked them up for that. But they came in a set of two for £1. And again, these are just things I never remember to pick up. I don't own a pair of gloves in this house. So here we are. Perfect. I'm just really happy with my buys. Like, I feel like this was a really successful shop. I know I'm going to get use out of everything I've got, which is exciting. Because sometimes I just put, I get overwhelmed with Primark and I just put everything in that I like. Oh, that's nice. But I feel like everything in this haul will get its use which is the best kind of haul you can do if you ask me next up we have this little dress so obviously this isn't for noah and this is not for the baby because the baby's not due till april but our friends have a little baby girl who's the same age as noah so um we picked this up for her for christmas because i just think there's nothing cuter than a classic tartan dress for christmas um i've got noah a cute little christmas jumper but i feel like on girls cute little tartan dress you just can't go wrong i just thought it was so sweet and it was such a good price it was only nine pounds let's just say the girls stuff in primark nice boys stuff in primark let's just not talk about it so for noah all i picked up was some socks okay i'm really excited about this and i i just know that you guys are gonna love these things as well um Connor saw this and he just had his basket open ready because he just knew it was going straight in there. So this again was from that like cosy, is it from the calm section? No, the sustainable one. Um, but the whole section was just, like I said, a bit of me. So this is like a loungewear jumpsuit, really, really soft again. And it's just, it's really good quality, like it's really dense. This is actually a small, um, I would definitely recommend sizing down because it is pretty oversized, but it has the like tie waist it just has this like button detail down the front and it's just a tapered leg on the jumpsuit and it's so cute i just know i'm going to get a lot of wear out of this and especially after having this baby i'm going to be in things like this all the time i mean i'm in things like this all the time because i work from home and i look after little man so this is why i just aim to get things like this and i do apologize if you get bored of my hauls if they're all loungewear but it's literally what i live in Okay, so as I'm talking about loungewear, I might as well show you this piece. Obviously, I said earlier that I picked up another pair of trousers. So this is the other pair. They're actually pretty similar, but these are more of like a ribbed fabric. Again, really, really soft. They've kind of got like this paper bag waist. Just these colours are just such my aesthetic. I just couldn't leave them. But I just love this one so much. So it's just, again, just like a tapered jogger. Really comfy, really relaxed fit. It has got a tie waist if you want to tighten it. But it also came with a matching top. You do buy them separately. Um, I got this top in a size large just so it was super baggy because I love my stuff to be baggy. And I just think this is such a nice set. So these are just the little packs of socks I picked up for Little Man because as much as I say my socks disappear, Noah's literally just disappear off the face of the earth. And I think it's because obviously we're between houses. He goes to my mum's, he goes to Connor's parents. Um, they get sucked up by the washing machine, I'm convinced. So yeah, I just picked him up two packs of these because you get five in a pack for two pounds and it's really good, really handy. Oh, okay, I really, really like this one. This was actually in the gift section because um, I think this would be like obviously a really good gift or a little secret Santa present, but I actually picked this up for myself. So obviously being self-employed, I have a lot of things that I need to keep in the same place. But also, I've been creating vision boards and I did it on my Pinterest, but I do like to just physically write things down. I like to be organised. Being self-employed is quite hard because it's like quite self like detrimenting. Do you know what? I don't know what the word is, but it's just you can be your own worst enemy. Um, so I just need to sometimes make sure I'm motivated. I have everything planned. Like even if I needed a shopping list, I just feel like it's so much easier to physically write things down and put all my positive affirmations in there for 2021. I just think there's just something about physically writing things down that I don't know piss it out to the universe a bit more so Connor was like we are not getting cushions we're not getting anything like that from the homeware section because I tend to do that and obviously then we have to carry it around so I found an alternative way 
I got cushion covers. So our lounge is really quite neutral and I've been looking for some new cushions for ages and I just don't know what kind of vibe I want. And I find cushions are so expensive, like £25 for a cushion. I think that's ridiculous. So these were literally £2.50 and obviously I've already got the cushion anyway so I can just put the cover on them and they're kind of like this grey champagne-y sort of colour and it would go perfectly with our neutral theme. I think there's coming off a little bit more grey on the camera but it does have like a champagne-y tinge to it. So yeah, £2.50, I just thought that was so good and they obviously had different colours but this is more to our colour scheme. More homeware bits, and I know this is super boring and kind of like a more adult side of things, but I picked up some cloths. Again, these are things that I never remember to buy. Me and Connor are like, oh, where's the cloth? Where's the cloth? I've not got a clean cloth. We're stocked up now. So these come in a pack of five, one pound 50 for five. I just thought they're really good, just to keep in the cupboard when we need them, because I obviously like to, I, I like to use cloths for different things. Like I don't want to be using my washing up cloth to clean the sides, like I'm really funny about that because, oh I don't know, I'm just funny, so it's good to have multiple cloths. Last thing in the bag is just some socks for Connor for his stocking, he wears these socks to work so I just thought they were really good to put in his stocking and yeah, £6 for a pack of five, which isn't too bad and I got him black ones just because his white ones are not so grubby. So yeah, that is everything I picked up in Primark, like I said it's so random, bits of everything here. But the main reason was so I could get this giveaway up for you guys. So make sure you head to the description box. Everything will be listed in there, what you need to do. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Make sure you head over to the Instagram post and follow me over there. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I have got lots of vlogs and more hauls coming as well, which is exciting. Off the top of my head, I've got two upcoming hauls, a pretty little thing haul and in the style haul. Um, and then obviously my vlogmases that I'm trying to keep on top of, but I'm a bit slack. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will hopefully see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.